Hi everyone, it's Justine. You've probably heard of Shein, right? It's a Chinese fast fashion company. They're one of the largest online only retailers in the world. To give you an idea of the scale of the thing, <laughs> according to their CEO, they add between 700 and 1000 new items to the shop every day. <laughs> In the US fashion fashion market, they already overtook H&M, Zara, Forever 21, and everybody else. And it's not only in the US, right? They are growing, they're shipping to every country in the world. They're growing at a mind blowing pace. And yet very little is known about that company. If you Google it, you'll see that many people are wondering whether it's legit, safe, whether it's even a real brand, whether it's trustworthy. So let's talk about Shein and answer all those questions. Let's start with the prices. When you go to the Shein website, the first thing you'll notice is discounts <laughs> layered on top of each other. Here, here, here. <laughs> and the prices are extremely low, even cheaper than Primark. This is your first red flag right there. When a top initially costs under 10 euros and then you're getting an 80% discount additionally, it tells you two things. First, they're producing so cheap that they can afford to sell that top for two euros instead of 10. And second, it would cost them more to put that garment and keep it in a warehouse in storage rather than selling it. So the garment is worth less than the cost of keeping it in a warehouse. Logical consequence of this, the people who are making sewing the garments are not being paid fairly because at that price point, Mathematically, it's impossible. But Shein goes even further. They refuse to disclose how their supply chain is built. All we know is that they produce mainly in China and they ship straight from Asia. There is no warehouse in Europe, for instance. Independent investigations have shown that Shein subcontracts to external factories that in turn subcontract to further smaller workshops, which are part of China's informal economy and work on a handshake basis. They often have no contract, no liability, no business license or any kind of social security or safety in terms of the working conditions. In other words, not even Shein knows how, where and by whom <laughs> their garments are produced. The supply chain is completely opaque even for them. However, we know that when subcontracting to a ton of small workshops, each little workshop is gonna construct, cut, measure, size the garment slightly differently. So you can be sure that it will have no consistency in the sizing and there's barely any quality control because at that level of complexity, it's just not possible. As somebody myself who works in that industry, I find this kind of business model extremely risky and absolutely unacceptable. Another red flag, product photos. They are all shot from different angles, so you can't really see the proportions and the photos are so heavily retouched that you can be absolutely sure the garments are not going to look this way on you. For instance, this waist here has been redrawn. It's too smooth. It's symmetrical, even though the model is not standing in a front position. She has an angle and, and it's too curved. This is not a real body. This is poor photoshopping. They also like to widen the shoulders and make them go up so that the waist will look thinner, but it completely screws how the garment looks. On the next photo, you can recognize that the model's shoulders do not actually go upwards. The human body simply is not that way. On top of not showing the products as they really are with real proportions, people who've shopped Chin in the past have reported that what you see on the photos is far in terms of quality from what you actually receive when you shop. So they use better samples for the photo shootings than what you actually get out of production. I'm going to just quickly touch upon the materials used because if you click on a product page, you will get misleading or plainly wrong information about the fiber composition of the product. And let's be clear, this is completely illegal. Here it says 100% cotton, but if you scroll down, if you see that you can even scroll down, it's actually a fiber mix. And there are of course no hints as to where this product was made. I did a test order so that you don't have to. <laughs> you know, earlier this year, I did a video about swimwear quality, what to pay attention to in terms of construction, hardware, fabrics, etc. And for that video, I ordered from a wide range of brands at different price points, you know, to have a good range to show you. 
among the brands that I selected for the experiment, there were some Shein swimsuits. The quality was so poor that I decided not to include them in my swimwear video. Here's why. The packaging is uh, plastic uh, with more plastic inside. And let me tell you, this is not recycled plastic. <laughs> it's all made in the cheapest polyester you've ever seen. There are different qualities of polyester. This is the worst I've ever seen. You'll wash these swimsuits twice and then the sheet will be lost for sure. The design details, like this pleating, that is a complete mess. There's fabric everywhere. This has been sewn in one and a half seconds. The edges are overstretched, aka so too fast. Again, it's all about speed at that price point. See this waistband? It's gonna gape when you wear it. And that edge too, it's not laying flat. This is terrible fit. This white fabric, top of the pop, it's literally losing microplastics. Can you see? It's losing fibers. You can see the glitter in the sunlight. This is plastic. Are you like supposed to hold your breath when you wear it? As you would expect if you wash until here, the proportions, the colors did not match at all what was shown on the product photos when I ordered. And they were not two of these bikinis that had the same size, even though I ordered the same size. Next ethical issue and a huge one. Shein is famous for plagiarism. There have been multiple scandals where independent designers and small labels have claimed that Shein copied their designs. And that was absolutely true. They don't even like bother changing anything. They just copy paste. They don't give a damn about intellectual property. And since they are based in China, even if a court rules somewhere in the UK that Shein has infringed on the intellectual property rights of the designer or the brand, it's practically impossible to implement the sanctions in China. So Shein gets away with it. You get the big picture. Shein is fast fashion at its worst. <laughs> The website Good On You, which rates big fashion labels based on sustainability and transparency goals, has given Shein the worst possible grade on all three criteria. Animal welfare, labor conditions, and environmental impact. By now, Shein must be one of the largest polyester and microplastic producers in the fashion industry worldwide. Yet they claim that they're sustainable and that they don't use fur, for instance. I mean, come on. It's just because fur or silk or like noble organic fibers cost more than the price range that they want to go with. Cost more than 10 euros. <laughs> and Shein does use wool without saying uh, where it's from and how it's gained. So it's very likely at that price point that it's being gained from mishandled animals. Google the word mulesing if you want to know more. I'm not going to put a photo in here because it's brutal. I mean, the company is so obviously greenwashing and making no real effort behind. Um, who would believe it? Like, I, I wonder. <laughs> if you want to learn more about the topic of greenwashing, I recommend you watch this video linked here and also down below in the description. In there, I explain what is greenwashing, how to spot it, which brands do it with examples and how to avoid it. Despite all these facts, Shein's sales have been growing by 160% in the first half of this year, alone in the US, in the pandemic. Yeah. If you want to gain followers on TikTok right now, you should probably do a Shein haul. It's one of the most mentioned brands on the platform. It's getting a huge buzz in social media at the moment. And yet people who consume Shein products are actively supporting massive plastic pollution at a level never seen before. Overconsumption, obviously, slave labor, and everything that's wrong about the fast fashion industry, everything that people also call out every time that a sweatshop gets exposed or every time that a garment factory collapses and kills people in a production country far away in Southeast Asia. To the people who will want to comment, yes, but Shein is all I can afford, I want to answer with concrete figures. Today in the world, we consume 400% more clothes than we did two decades ago. Every year in the US, the average American produces 80 pounds of fabric waste every year. <laughs> and I only have the figure for the US, but it's a similar evolution in other so-called Western countries that the fast fashion business model was created for. 10 years ago, Shein barely existed. It's a very new company. 10 years ago, we did not have 400% more clothes, but we had clothes. <laughs> we did not need 
the price of a t-shirt to go down from three euros at Primark to two euros at Shein. We did not need Shein to get dressed. Since that company started, they have done a great job <laughs> at convincing people that they have the right to splurge and to get new clothes every week, much more than people actually need. They have a huge responsibility in convincing people that clothes are disposable items with absolutely no concern or even interest for the human and environmental consequences. For all these reasons, you probably gathered by now, <laughs> I think Shein is a brand that should not be supported. I think it should be actively avoided. One of the goals of this channel is to show you how the fashion industry works um, behind the scenes so that you can make informed purchase decisions. If this video made you think or if you learned something new here, please give it a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, and I would like to ask you to help me spread the word by sharing this video. I'm convinced that people who are shopping a brand like this simply don't know on which basis and damage it is built. So information is power, we just have to spread it. The video that I mentioned earlier about greenwashing, again, it's linked here and down below so that if you wish, you can spend a bit more time with me. And um, other than this, I will see you in the next one. Take care. Bye.